Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Pisces. This is for if. Let me start over. This is if you have recently split up from a Pisces and you want your Pisces back. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is full for love. I want my Pisces back. What can I do? We are going to look at if this was not an acrimonious split and you haven't reached the point of no return. There is an assumption that the split was not highly negatively charged and there is a possibility of reconciling the relationship or building a bridge back to your former Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So this is for between now and the middle of April 2018. I want my Pisces back. We are going to look at how he or she is feeling right now. We are also going to look at what they want. We're going to look at if they've been able to move on and how that's going. And finally, we are going to look at some strategies you might be able to employ in order to reconcile the relationship. So right now, until the middle of April, the Capricorn is feeling... What am I saying? Not the Capricorn, the Pisces, guys. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let me give this one more shuffle. It's for Pisces. But I do feel like the Pisces is being... The, the Pisces is behaving out of character. The Pisces might be behaving very much so like a Capricorn. You might be seeing a side of the Pisces that you haven't seen before. But the Pisces is... Very much so in their emotion. It seems, it seems that they are ready to move on. Uh... They may have not reached out to you in ways that you thought they would have also. I feel like they're not reaching out. I also feel like a lot of the Capricorn, the, I don't know why I keep saying Capricorn. I feel like a lot of the Pisces may have taken a trip or planning to take a trip uh, to get a fresh start or feel like they're making a new start by taking a trip going away, taking a trip. So it's like if you would try to reach out to them and, and talk to them, they're not really even available right now. They've kind of disappeared on you. This is for Pisces. Pisces. Disappearing act. We have Major Arcana, the, the two tens, by the way. Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ten of Cups. I'm going to keep that because I wanted to pull that one. Look at that last thing. We have the Nine of Swords. So what they want right now. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Especially if they left you. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Um... And they feel stressed out by the whole situation. It's almost like they just want to forget about you. They just want to put the past behind them. They're feeling right right now like they just want to put it all behind them. They just want to forget about all of this that happened between the two of you. Yeah. Let's see what else we have. I think I'm going to extend this reading out a little bit because I feel the need to. So this is if they've been able to move on. This is for Pisces. Yeah, they're trying to. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Sun. They are trying to move on. But I feel like it's... Um, this is Major Arcana of the Lovers. I feel like it's it's forced. Like they they extracted themselves out of their normal environment. But it's temporary. Like they took a vacation, they may have taken a job or an assignment away for a temporary period of time. Uh, they're trying to get out, but it feels like because of this move or because of this job or because of this trip, they've extracted themselves out of your normal environment or location. And they're using this as a catalyst to move on. They're using this as a catalyst to... Um, 
force themselves to feel or be happy. And like all possibilities are open to them. And whatever they're finding now, though, is a bit temporary because wherever they are, like wherever they physically have moved to, it doesn't seem permanent. It seems temporary. Again, like a vacation, a holiday assignment, like an assignment, work assignment. But they want, the Pisces wants to make a fresh start. The Pisces wants to meet someone new, make a fresh start. Right now, they're feeling this way. What you can do, which I wouldn't really recommend, but it's coming across to me and in the cards. I wouldn't take that approach of trying to guilt trip them into um, anything using guilt as coercion or manipulation as coercion. It will work. It will work if you appeal to um, their sensitivity and almost behave like uh, you're in distress or like you need their help. They would feel compelled to help you. If you ask for their help in any way, they would still help you. But again, it would be temporary. It wouldn't be real, authentic, or genuine. So let's see if there's anything else that you can do between now and the middle of April to try to woo. And this is the first time I've said this for any of the signs. Woo your Pisces back in your direction. Because right now they seem to be moving out of your sights, out of your view. We have the three of wands two times, guys, by the way. And we have the nine of pentacles. Okay, you know, guys, I hate playing games, but this is that kind of a reading. Uh, take it as you want. That's why I said, I said, that's what I said, that I will try to give you strategies to help win your Pisces back. So I have to tell you what I see here and what I hear. And um, you might have to play that game a little bit that you give them the impression that you have moved on and that you're happy without them in your life. Now, it doesn't feel like you would actually physically speak these words or tell them that. It, it seems more to me like it's almost like you're, you're mirroring what they do and say to you. Like you're giving them a mirror. And this is a bit of game playing. So if, if you're not hearing from them, then you would not try to contact them. If they contact you, uh, then you contact them back. When you speak, if they say, oh, I'm having a great time, I'm getting out and I'm meeting new people, I have some new prospects on the horizon, whether that's work or relationship, then it's almost like you would mirror and say the same thing to them. And this might snap them out of this mode a little bit where they start to wonder what you're up to, what you're up to. Yeah, they have to wonder what you're up to. I'm hearing this too. So please try not to reach out to them right now. It's better if you leave them a little bit in animated suspense and they have to wonder what you're into or what you're up to in order to spark their interest again in your direction. So that's what I have for those of you who would like to capture, <laughs> capture, if you would like to woo a Pisces sun, moon, or rising who you recently split up with, you want your Pisces back. That's what I would try right now between now and April. So I hope you guys like, shared, or subscribe the video, and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.